Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Welcome to the Selinko Whiteout 1820 review. I reviewed the Whiteout 1619 towards the end of 2021 and it was a racket I thoroughly enjoyed for the feel, the spin potential and the power for a modern control racket. The one downside was that the string bed felt a bit too open and that the racket had a slight trampoline effect. I did note in my review that the racket could be a gem if it had a denser string pattern to control the launch angle and this is an improved version in my opinion for sure. The same technology is present here, foam tech meaning that the racket is foam filled for feel and vibration dampening. It actually offers also adjustable weighted butt caps that you can purchase for easy customization making the racket a bit more head light for example. It has 40T carbon fiber at 3 and 9 o'clock which is supposed to give added strength in the impact zone and there is liquid crystal material used in the grip for vibration and dampening and you do feel that when you play that this racket is pretty dampened but I would say not too much. Let's have a look at the average specs on Tennis Warehouse, the head size 98 square inches, standard length, strung weight, so 305 grams unstrung with strings around 323 grams, balance is 4 points head light with strings, swing weight approximately 324 it can be a bit higher can be a bit lower depending on the rackets you get stiffness 66 does not play quite like a 66 stiffness racket plays a bit softer than that beam width 21.7 and the composition is 40t carbon graphite so you, there you have it 1820 pattern on this one there is also the 1619 version of course so how does this racket play? Well, it's a modern control racket in the sense that it has a bit more power and spin potential than a more traditional control racket like the Prestige, for example. The beam is thicker and the stiffness slightly higher for a bit more power, which is often needed in the modern game. This racket compares to the Wilson Blade 98, the Head Radical MP, the Technifiber TF40 and the Dunlop CX200. I think it's almost as if the Dunlop and the Technifiber had a full grown baby to be honest. The feel is good, the power level a bit higher than the Blade and the Radical and overall a bit more dampened. The Selinko Whiteout 1820 provided a consistent and solid response on all shots, nice feel at the net, good stability, decent power on serves, enough spin potential also with the 1820 pattern. I felt more confident with this racket, I felt like I could swing out a bit more on the, my shots and the ball would still land in. So a nicely playing racket goes on my list of favorite modern control rackets out at the moment and I will update my recommendations in my racket course and ebook The Road to the Right Racket. You can check out this racket at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe and Tennis Only. I get a small commission if you buy any product through my links in the description. Anything and everything helps so big thanks. That's all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.